days to comply with state law. If the county doesn't meet this timeline, the jail could be shut down. Sam Shapiro has been searching for answers from public officials all day. So Sam, what did you find out? Well, Greg, I'm told there is no plan of action just yet, but the Richland County Sheriff's report says they will need time to review the latest inspection report. The report outlines all the jail's recent issues, which include holes in the ceiling, broken toilets and a lack of supervision. Last night, we obtained a copy of the state inspection report for the Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center. Our records show this is the third year in a row the corrections facility has not complied with state law. The inspection report showed a number of issues that still need to be fixed inside the jail if they plan to remain open. That includes broken locks, something the county has been criticized for since earlier this year. The report also shows the facility has a number of fire safety violations as well, including no fire evacuation plan in place. Less than a month ago, inmates set fire to their bed sheets and officers working inside had to call 911. Okay, what's going on, ma'am? We have a fire starting in proper by inmate and we need them to put it out. You said what started, what fire started where? Yeah, yeah we have a fire started, ma'am, and we just need it out. But that wasn't the only 911 call that was made that night as multiple units responded to the riot and jail fire. Can we get some assistance at Avenue S. Glenn Detention Center and have a little riot going on? Okay, we've got um, multiple units actually already coming out there. You say there's a riot going on? Yes, ma'am. And now a county spokesperson tells us, quote, we've openly communicated on several occasions about the county's process to improve the conditions at ASDC and any updates will be communicated as necessary once the county has time to review the report from SCDC and